Hello, 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 everybody around the world. Uh, so good to see so many of you here today. My name is Toby German. I'm from Pangolin Photo Safaris. And welcome to the grand final show of the 2021 Pangolin Photo Challenge. Um, how many people? All 50 people here already. So we're going to leave a bit of time, let people join us, get in. We've got some mails going out, so hopefully we'll get some more people coming through. Um, before we get started, let us know in the comments, where are you beaming in from? Love to hear from you. Let us know, did you enter? Do you have an image in this? Are you looking forward to the lucky draw? Um, so please let us know in the comments. That'd be really cool. I've got Mike on hand who is manning the comments because I can't multitask. So um, I'm going to let him do it. So we've got loads and loads that we need to get through today. So I'm going to kick off. Um, hopefully we're not going to have too many uh, glitches. Let's see if I can get this little bit working first. Here we go. There we go. Hope you can see this. Right. Coming up in the show today, we have the following. I'm going to give you an update on the 2022 Pangolin Photo Challenge uh, so we can see exactly what's going to be involved next year. I'm then going to announce the People's Choice winner for Creative Captures. After that is going to be the winners, runner-up, and the three highly commended images of Creative Captures. Shortly after that, Wow, we're going to the portfolio prize. You are not going to believe who the, the, the images are just amazing from this winner. So you're going to love these. So stick around for that. And then obviously you're going to stick around for the lucky draw from the full list of all the entries that we came through. Several thousand. So, uh, but it's better odds than the lottery. So please stick around and uh, let's see who has won that lucky draw safari as well. So without further ado, let's crack on with what's going to happen with the 2022 challenge. Um, now, the big news is it's going to start on March the 1st, 2022, which gives us a month to get everything ready. Um, and then it's going to run for the whole year. Um, now, what we're also going to do is we're going to allow images that were taken this year and last year. Now, the reason for this is I got a few emails from people saying, well, you know, I only go on my big photographic trip and say June, July, August, and then I've missed half of the challenge. I'd really like to get involved and do it. So I thought, well, actually, that's fair enough. I don't want really old images being submitted. So we are going to allow images from the year of the competition and from the preceding year. So that's going to be a new rule. So if you've got some really cool images, if you didn't enter this year, save them up because you can enter them this year as well. OK, cool. Um, there are going to be five challenges and not four. And in a minute, we're going to give you a link so that you can help suggest some of those challenges as well. Um, so, yeah, we've got time. It's going to be every two months again, but I've got room for five challenges up to the end of the year. So, uh, yeah, why not? Let's do five. The more, the merrier. Um, and then you can't really see this, but um, we've decided, obviously, the people who entered this competition. We asked people to make donations and we were absolutely overwhelmed. Really cool donations, which we have been using for all the pangolin work that we've been doing. But the rehabilitation center that we support in the Northern Cape needs a proper refurb. Um, it needs lots of equipment. Um, more and more pangolins from the illicit trade are being brought there. So we need to up the game of the rehab center. So instead of making random donations, next year you'll be able to buy specific bits of kit. Now that can range from I don't know, a packet of syringes or something like that for administering antibiotics, right up to a satellite tracker, or even paying the wages of somebody who goes walking with the pangolins during the day. So we are going to use the 2022 Pangolin Photo Challenge to completely redo the rehabilitation center of the Northern Cape. I'm going there in a couple of weeks, so I will be able to give you more information and I'll show you some video footage of what it looks like now and what we're going to be doing during the course of the year. So really cool, very exciting. Let's bring me back in again. There we go. Right. Moving on. OK, so, Mike, if you wouldn't mind, I don't know if you've done it already, but uh, there is a suggestions box where you can go and fill in. Tell me a little bit about your experience of the challenge this year. What did you like? What didn't you like? What was easy? What wasn't? But also, please, let's suggest some challenges. Maybe I'll come up with some real corkers. I've got a couple of ideas for some really cool ones. Some of the ones from this year might stay, might go, not sure. But all will be relieved, re uh, relieved, revealed on uh, March the 1st. Okie dokie, right. Now, if you'd like to get ahead of the game, then what I suggest you do is you come to Botswana and you come to the hotel. I don't know if you saw this, but this is a small clip, which I'm going to share with you now, that Guts took on his phone 
of the new bunker hide that he built at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel. So he built this during lockdown where we could make lots of mess. This is the positive side of COVID. We can make loads of mess building this thing. Um, and it's really cool. And all the animals are really starting to find it now as well. So you can access the hide 24 seven from inside the hotel. You can go in there and there's room for about 12 people. And then you can photograph out at our resident elephants. I never get bored of watching this, it's so cool. Uh, photographing at the feet of giants. So there we go. So if you want to come along, we've got a price. It's 30,000 Rand to stay for a week, which is about $2,000. Everything is open. You just need to be fully vaccinated, take a PCR test, and within a, a short period of time, you can be there photographing with us and on the boat and everywhere else. Cool. Okie dokie. Right. So moving on. Right. The People's Choice Vote. This has always been a little bit contentious, and it was even more so when we discovered that the winning image from the People's Choice Vote got the most votes, but I deferred it to the judges, and they decided that actually the, the image shouldn't have been in this category. It should have actually been in mammal behavior, so we had to unfortunately disqualify the image that got the most votes, so the image with the second most votes has won this prize. I did contact the photographer to explain it, um, and apologize, maybe we should have made it a bit clearer, but I will make it much clearer next year. Um, but, you know, the People's Choice Vote is a lot of fun, but rules are rules, and that's the way we did it. So the winner of the People's Choice Vote is Thomas Wirtz with this amazing image of a hummingbird taken in his garden. So it just goes to show you don't need to travel too far, especially if you've got hummingbirds, I suppose. But it's a beautiful image. You use some speed lights, set it up, sat there patiently, and it's a lovely, lovely high key image. Love the blur in the wings, really beautiful. So, uh, congratulations, Thomas. There is a prize of a uh, voucher and a body warmer winging its way to you right now. So, okay, on to the Creative Captures Challenge prizes. Let's remind ourselves of those. Um, there's a five day photo safari for the winner. There is a uh, runner up prize of a $2,000 voucher for the runner up. And then three highly commended images, which each get a $500 uh, voucher as well. Um, really, anyone who saw the video of all the images knows just how tough this was. And the results were so close. All the judges were judging away, and it was, you know, nanomillimeters between them. So anybody who made it into that selection of 64 videos needs to be really congratulated. But, you know, there can only be a few winners. So these are going to win a, a jacket as well. Sorry, I keep forgetting which order I put things in. So yes, the world, the world famous Pangolin Gilet as sport, sported by uh, Charles and Sabine Stolls. Um, okay, before I forget, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you are subscribed here because all of the results, all the new competitions are going to be on YouTube. Everything is here. So uh, if you could do that, press the like button, give us a thumbs up, make lots of comments. YouTube likes that. Right. Highly commended image number one. These are in no particular order. Randall Ball from the USA with this beautiful ethereal image of a young leopard. You can tell it's a young leopard because of the, uh, the blue eyes. Um, really, really beautiful image. Congratulations, Randall. Love this image. Really, really emotive. Uh, the next one is Joan Fenter from South Africa. There was a strong South African showing in creative captures. Um, and so we, um, uh, so Joan Fenter on this. This is a secretary bird at sunset. They're really, really distinctive shaped birds as well. One of my real favorites. I love secretary birds. Very cool. So great image. Well done, Joan. Congratulations. $500 to you. Robert Hoffmeyer, the man who doesn't like his cameras very much, apparently. So I'm not entirely sure how you took this image. But if you are here, Robert, if you're watching or you're watching this later on, please can you put in the comments how you took this photograph? People are really interested. But beautiful framing, lovely image. Congratulations. Very good. $500 winging its way to you as well. Um, runner up, Jenny Brown with a classic, classic Lion, roaring, backlit. I only noticed today, actually, when I was loading this up, if you look very carefully, you can also see what appears to be a lioness or a young lion um, just to the right of the, the lion who's roaring. I love the spittle. That really adds to it. And, yeah, the backlighting, really, really stunning. Beautiful, beautiful image. Being that close to a lion roaring, wow, it is a, a life-changing experience. So um, congratulations, Jenny. Really cool. Well done. Uh, there is a $2,000 voucher coming to you. And the winner of Creative Captures, who wins a safari with us, is Ralph Machi, Mackie, not sure how to pronounce it, from Germany. 
Um, I love this image. It is so simple, so beautiful. It looks like a crocodile appearing from milk almost. Really beautiful. This would look amazing as a stunning big, big print in your house. Probably scare the grandchildren a little bit, but uh, I really love it. And just a tinge of green in the eyes. Really, really cool. Love it. Well done. Congratulations, Ralph. There is a, I'll be in touch soon and we can organize your safari to come and see us. Okie dokie, moving on. If you'd like to see more of these images, um, please go to gallery.pangolinphoto.com. I've loaded all the images from the finalist in there. There's loads of images from the Pangolin Photo hosts. There's even images from our last trip to the Masai Mara this year. So please go and enjoy yourself, check them out, be inspired. Um, it's very simple to get to, right. Moving swiftly on, the Portfolio Prize, right. Wow, this took, I didn't think I was gonna be able to do this in time. I really thought we were gonna run out of time trying to judge the portfolio. So what we did was we took all the images, because obviously people finish their portfolio late, we put them back into the pool, and there were, I think, 450 completed portfolios, which means there are about almost 2,000 images we had to rejudge. So we rejudged all of the images, and then we whittled it, whittled it, whittled it, whittled it until we got to the portfolio prize winner. So thank you all to all the judges who helped me out with this. Whew, it was a mission, but it was really good. Really nice to revisit all those images and find some new ones as well. So to remind you of the winning prize, it is a Chobi, Delta and Kalahari Safari for two people. This goes to the Pangolin Voyage of Three Nights, um, three nights of the Pangolin Photo Camp, and then three nights down in the central Kalahari at Dinaka. Um, now this is a package that we operate all year round, set departures. If you'd like some information about joining it, uh, Mike will share some links in the comments and you can go and check out the prize or maybe you want it. So let's see. But the value is 20,000. We charge uh, up to $9,995 per person for this safari and it includes all the charter flights as well. Um, so uh, big, big prize, big prize and there can only be one winner. I really want to thank our sponsors, Kerrin down in Botswana for Danaka and also their sister company, um, Safari Air, who are also supplying some of the flights. And then Mac Air, who is another charter company. They've been operating in Botswana for 25 years. Superb, superb. Pilots, planes, everything. We use them all the time. Really cool. Thank you so much, guys, for your generosity. I will be in touch soon for uh, next year's prize. So uh, watch your inbox. Okie dokie. And the winner is... Whew, this is a really big moment. This is really big. Okay. The winner of the Portfolio Grand Prize for the Pangolin Photo Challenge 2021 is Jason Moore from Australia. Now, I am super delighted with this, and I'm going to share his four images with you uh, because they are really, really beautiful. And I'm really delighted for the Australians. We've got an Australian winner because those poor buggers have been in such a severe lockdown, as Novak Djokovic will tell you. Um, that uh, we can't, uh, I can't believe that somebody has won who wasn't even able to travel to Africa, who had to uh, photograph at home and got some stunning images. So without further ado, I'm going to get rid of me and I'm going to share with the images. I'm also going to share the descriptions with you because um, he was really generous with the descriptions. So the first image is a Corella. Now, this image was captured at Lake Jundalup near Perth, Western Australia, I hope I pronounced that right, a large flock of Corellas was jostling for a spot to land on and have a drink prior to heading off to their roosting site. Good spots were not easy to find due to the size of the flock, and this bird picked a very springy twig, which disappeared under the water surface as the bird alighted. The instability of the perch caused him to raise his wings, which offered a great photographic opportunity, which I think you will agree. It is a stunning, stunning image. The next one. Now, this image was captured approximately 15 meters below the surface. Obviously, this is the black and white category, below the surface of the Indian Ocean and a spot aptly known as Shark Cave, um, also known as the Opera House near Rottnest Island, Western Australia. This um, area falls within a marine reserve, so no fishing is allowed. However, there were still three sharks in the cave that day that had fishing hooks and trace deeply embedded in their mouths. This individual is not one of them. That's a real shame, but um, this is a beautiful capture. I don't know if any of you have tried underwater photography, but bloody hell, it's difficult. I've started doing a little bit of it recently, and it is not only in wildlife photography do you have to worry about your subject moving away from you, but underwater, you're moving away from the subject as well. So if there's anybody who's really into uh, underwater photography, who teaches underwater photography, please get in touch with me 
through the website. Uh, Mike will give you a link to the website. Um, maybe the info at Pangolin Photo email address, Mike, if you could do that. If anyone's into wildlife, if you're into underwater photography, send me an email as well. Let's put together a trip. Let's all go learn together. I would love that. So let's do that. Right. The next one. I just love this image. Um, this image was captured in the northern suburbs of Perth, Western Australia. I was driving past an area of open bushland when I noticed a mob of kangaroos feeding amongst some pretty yellow flowers. I stopped to grab a few photos and couldn't help chuckling to myself when I saw this animal clearly in deep concentration practicing his strumming on an air guitar. Who knew? Who knew that kangaroos did air guitar? But that's why, you know, wildlife photography is all about discovering new types of behavior. I think he's probably contemplating his navel or grooming or something, but it's a lovely, lovely shot. Really cool, lovely. And finally, beautiful, beautiful shot. This image was captured in Perth, Western Australia. This species, the rainbow bee eater, are breeding migrants to the area I live in, arriving in early October each year. I'd identified this perch as a favorite for a pair that was building a nest in the general area. I set myself up one afternoon and sure enough, it wasn't too long before my patience was rewarded. I looked at this, I thought that's really interesting. I've never seen a bee eater with a tail like that. It looks like the, the sort of a racket tail roller um, type feathers as well. So, oh, this is Jason, congratulations, mate. These are really, really cool images. I am so chuffed for you and can't wait to welcome you and uh, I presume, you know, wife, uh, you're bringing on safari with you. So congratulations, uh, have a beer, have a, have a glass of champagne, raise it to us. That was really, really well done. Congratulations. Um, Okie dokie. Now, the lucky draw. Moving on to the lucky draw. Okay, so here's how it's going to work. I just need to fiddle around a little bit and uh, get rid of um, this just quickly. Um, so let me just remind you of the prize. The winner is going to get a five-day photo safari at the Pangolin Chobi Hotel for two people valued at $4,000. So what I've done, and I'm going to share a uh, screen with you now. There we are. I'm back. I just need to just change this, change that, and change a window. So what I did is I took all of the images um, and I put them into an Excel spreadsheet, which I'm going to share with you now, as you can see. Now, lots and lots of images are here. In fact, there were a total of 2,824 images. So what I did is I've got a really cool app on my phone. I don't know if I can see you, but it's gonna ruin my, uh, my green screen. But what it does is it randomizes the numbers. You can see them moving. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop it in a minute, and then I'm gonna find on the page who has won this prize. Okay, so stopping now. Okay, 1,560. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I can't tell where this person's coming from, but I can tell you their name and the name of the picture. So 1,560. Wow. Oh, it had to be a name I couldn't describe, isn't it? 1,000 in the road by Przemysław Koporowski. I'm going to have to assume this person is from Poland, Slovenia. We actually had entries from 61 different countries. So I hugely apologize for not being able to pronounce your name. But congratulations, Przemysław. You are the winner of that safari. So uh, well done. There we go. That is it. We have reached the end of the Pangolin Photo Challenge. 2021. I really hope you've enjoyed this. I really hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've done putting it in. It's been a, a really interesting exercise doing it. And next year is going to be even bigger and better. And I hope you've enjoyed it. And I'm going to sign off now because it's Friday and it's the end. And um, I wish you all the best. Please go and check out the website. Come and join us on Safari. Everything is done. If you've had your vaccine, I got my Pfizer booster yesterday, which means my arm is a little bit not quite working properly, but it's a small price to pay. Um, the Chobi is amazing. We've actually had a really, really good year. Loads of people came to travel to us. So thank you to everybody who's traveled to us this year. Really means a lot. Uh, Pangolin is thriving. We've got some really big news coming up soon. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you from everybody at Pangolin Photo Safaris. Thank you for our sponsors. Thank you from Pangolin Africa, our nonprofit, which has basically been kept going by the Pangolin Photo Challenge this year. So uh, I'm going to sign off. It's the end of the week. It's weekend eve. And uh, take care 
and I hope to see you all next year. Goodbye.